So tonight, 25 Investigates is looking at the impact COVID is still having on wedding receptions here in Massachusetts. Those receptions still being canceled and postponed due to capacity restrictions. Investigator reporter Ted Daniel found some venues are offering full refunds, mm -hmm. while others are enforcing pre-pandemic contracts. The pandemic has been a disaster for couples planning weddings and the industry as a whole. We decided to pursue this story after discovering a stack of complaints against a popular wedding venue. The complaints were filed with the Office of the Massachusetts Attorney General. Most are from couples seeking refunds for large receptions that never happened. It was quaint, it was beautiful, it was a snowy night in December. Alicia and Stephen Gadman with only good things to say about their small December wedding in Essex. The couple initially planned a much bigger affair, 80 miles west at the Colonial Hotel in Gardner. We were, I was optimistic. Yeah. I was like, we're going to have the wedding in November. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. The pandemic had different plans. At the time, state COVID restrictions were tight. Only 25 people could attend. No dance floor, drinks from the back, but not from a bar. The Colonial allowed Alicia and Stephen to postpone, but they had to wait six weeks for couples with weddings before them to pick their new dates first. Their original date was a Saturday at the end of the season. They sent us a list of dates of Thursdays, Fridays and Sundays for 2021. Um, and the one year mark out from where our original date was already booked. So they still have your money. How much? We're out $6,000. That's not a little bit of money. Um, you know, we're trying to buy a house right now. That would go a long way. The Gadmans filed a complaint with the Attorney General's office when the Colonial refused to give them their deposit back. 25 investigates found 19 similar complaints on file. In March, when the pandemic was already happening, they had us pay another $12,720. Amy and Aaron Harrington had a wedding planned at the Colonial with 175 guests. It never happened and never will. They got married elsewhere. The Colonial still has their money. When they told us that it could only be 25 people, the only option was to move the date. I'm currently 15 weeks pregnant, and that's why we couldn't really push our wedding a year. We had a plan. <laughs> the Colonial's general manager, Nicole Mooreshead, declined to speak with us on camera, but answered. What time did they tell you that? All our calls and emails. Mooreshead says the hotel hosts 80 to 100 weddings a year, and they've tried to be as accommodating as possible through massive disruption. By email, the wedding director tells 25 Investigates the hotel offered everyone the opportunity to reschedule within a year out at no extra charge. She says there was a process for selecting new dates, writing, I thought it was only fair to go in order from when their wedding was scheduled. I think we are all in a little bit of limbo, just making sure that we're still moving in the right direction. Linnea Tangora, a Newburyport-based wedding planner, says the industry is rebounding, but still working through challenges created by the pandemic. She's still seen cancellations because of capacity limits, now 100 people inside, 150 outdoors. She's advising clients to ask for COVID statements and contracts with vendors to protect against the possibility of new restrictions or events out of their control. I think in the past it wasn't something that was ever heard of, but because we all lived through it and it was so detrimental to our industry and to our couples, I think it is a good idea to put something in writing. If that's not available, take time to fully understand each vendor's cancellation and rebooking policies. If you've already signed contracts, remember, vendors may hold you to them. You may be able to fight it out in court, but that involves time and money. We come from two very large Italian families that still very much want to celebrate with us. The Gadmans are planning a big reception to celebrate their marriage. It won't be at the Colonial Hotel. The only thing they want from the venue is their money back. It's not the end of the world for us, but we do want everyone to know to be smart when it comes to planning their wedding. I spoke to Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy about this situation. She says her office has worked to find a solution for all the couples that contacted her about the Colonia Hotel, but no solution was ever reached. She's advising them to seek private legal counsel. Both the Gadmans and the Harringtons have done that. For 25 Investigates, I'm Ted Daniel.